Moving on now to more breaking news coming in where youth congress uh, leaders are staging a protest against the state government over 40% commission allegation. This is happening in Karnataka, in Belagavi in fact, where uh, the winter session of the Karnataka Assembly is taking place as we speak. Congress supporters there uh, in large numbers hitting the streets against the state government. Remember, it is election year in uh, Karnataka. The state goes to polls next year and the Congress has been upping its ante against the ruling BJP over corruption. The 40% commission Sarkar it was the campaign that uh, the Congress party had launched a few months ago in the run-up to the elections. Ritu, my colleague, now joins us for more on this. Uh, yes, Ritu. Well, you see, that's the Youth Congress who is protesting in the Belagavi, finding it a right time when the winter session is on. They're trying to get off the Suvarna Sauda, but yes, they won't be allowed to enter Suvarna Sauda at any cost. There's a heavy police deployment as well near the uh, Suvarna, uh, Suvarna Vidhan Sauda. But meanwhile, you see the kind of slogans that are also being raised by the uh, Youth Congress there against the BJP government over the 40% commission charges. We had seen how the 40% commission charges had come into the light earlier in the month of April as well, when after a contractor, Santosh Patil, had committed a suicide of over, uh, you know, that where he had also alleged that uh, uh, the PDO, in fact, uh, had demanded for a 40% commission to clear his uh, uh, work order. So just not that, but at a later point, we had again seen how there was a kind of allegation that was again being raised against uh, the horticulture minister, Munir Atna, as well over the uh, allegation uh, coming out there too. So this is all that the kind of the corruptions that are taking place in the uh, Karnataka. So you know, uh, linked to the various uh, corruption charges, there you see the Youth Congress taking that protest out and raising slogans against the uh, BJP government. Right. So the protest there escalating as far as uh, Congress versus BJP fight goes in the state, and uh, corruption is something that uh, the Congress has been raising against the BJP in election year, isn't it? They've launched multiple campaigns. Uh, against the state government, specifically against Chief Minister Bomai as well? Very true. We have seen earlier how there has been a unique uh, campaign that was launched by the uh, Congress party where they had called out the campaign saying face EM. There was a QR code that was being seen on the uh, posters where anyone can uh, scan that QR uh, code and land up to a website which clearly states how the kind of uh, corruption charges are being demanded by the BJP uh, government, especially the uh, departments, the government departments and uh, up and higher the, uh, no, the offices as well. So this is all that the kind of uh, unique campaign was being launched earlier as well and later point again, BJP leaders also coming out and launching a uh, a uh, similar campaign against the Congress leaders. We have seen this in case of the Priyank Kharge in the, uh, uh, no, uh, uh, where there was again about him not being available in his constituency to do the work and his absence being observed from quite a few months. So yes, there has been a counterpart uh, 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 campaigns as well being launched here in the Karnataka, but this seems to be only escalating ahead of the 2023 Assembly election. Right, Ritu, thank you so much for getting us the latest from on ground there.